<laughs> and finally, new rule, while the sting of defeat is still fresh and the horrors resulting from that defeat pile up, liberals must examine all the reasons why we keep losing elections starting with Democrats have gone from the party that protects people to the party that protects feelings. From ask not what your country can do for you to you owe me an apology. <laughs> Republicans apologize for nothing. Democrats for everything. Can't we find a balance? You know, in 2016, conservatives won the White House, both houses of Congress, and almost two-thirds of governorships and state legislatures. Whereas liberals, on the other hand, caught Steve Martin calling Carrie Fisher beautiful in a tweet and made him take it down. <laughs> I'm not making that up. That really happened. Here's Steve's offensive tweet. When I was a young man, Carrie Fisher was the most beautiful creature I'd ever seen. She turned out to be witty and bright as well. <gasps> How could you, Steve? <laughs> we thought we knew you, but this? You noted her appearance first. And then that she was witty and bright. You're a monster. <laughs> Liberals do this all the time. They get offended for people who themselves would not be offended. You know that whole controversy about the name Washington Redskins? They did a survey. Nine out of ten actual Indians don't give a shit. <laughs> Why would we? Their, in their ancestors learned firsthand that New England patriots cheat. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't stop celebrities from groveling when they get caught playing dress up on Halloween. Here's Hillary Duff last year. Ah! And then, of course, her tweet, I'm so sorry to people I offended. It was not properly thought through, and I am truly from the bottom of my heart sorry. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth was even more beside himself with self-loathing after he attended a Lone Ranger-themed party dressed as an Indian. <gasps> he wrote, I was stupidly unaware of the offense. I sincerely and unreservedly apologize to all First Nations people for this thoughtless action. I hope that in highlighting my own ignorance, I can help in some small way. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're Thor. Grow a pair. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't offend Indians any more than you offend gays when you wear a cape and hammer, guys. <laughs> It was a Lone Ranger-themed party. You could only be a cowboy, Indian, or a horse. <laughs> Just like if you live in Wyoming. <laughs> Last year, Justin Timberlake tweeted that an African-American, Jesse Williams, inspired him and, again, had to apologize for the sin of giving someone a compliment. I apologize to anyone that felt that was out of turn. I have nothing but love for all of you and all of us. <laughs> oh, good, good. Because life knows no sin greater than the one he was accused of doing, which was cultural appropriation. Cultural appropriation. That's the idea that white people shouldn't adopt things from other ethnic groups. How dare you mix and match cultures to produce something new? Where do you think you are? Some kind of melting pot? You know, the majority of Americans are actually with the Democrats on the issues, raising minimum wage, sensible gun laws, path to citizenship, abortion rights, pro-environment, you name it. But we keep losing. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. But the one we can immediately fix is that too often Democrats remind people of a man who has taken his balls out and put them in his wife's purse. <laughs> And please, someone tweet me right now and tell me how that was somehow inappropriate so I can tell you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> At the Golden Globes this month, Michael Keaton mixed up the titles of two movies that had a black cast, Hidden Figures and Fences, and said, Hidden Fences because he's a Klansman. <laughs> cue the outrage, cue the retraction. I screwed up. It makes me feel so badly that people feel badly. 
If someone feels badly, that's all that matters. No, that's not all that matters. In fact, things like this don't matter at all. What matters is that while you self-involved fools were policing the language at the Kids' Choice Awards, a madman talked his way into the White House. <laughs> What matters is that while liberals were in a contest to see who could be the first to call out fat shaming, the Tea Party has been busy taking over school boards. Stop protecting your virgin ears and start noticing you're getting fucked in the ass. Okay. <laughs>